you know, I, I said this back in 2020. I came up with the term victor, victim or victor. You're going to have a choice this year. You can either claim victory and be the victor in 2024, or you can become a victim of 2024. Hi, this is Coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to the Magellan Network Show. My goal inside of this communication, this show, is to share with you my nearly 30 years of coaching some of the most successful financial advisors in North America. We're going to be talking about strategies, syntaxes, we're going to bring guests on from time to time, and I'm going to share with you what's working now. So think of this show as sort of like a little one-on-one -on -one kind of mini coaching cast, if you like, where we're going to be going in depth from time to time on strategies to help you grow your business, get more effective, become more efficient, find balance in your time management, grow your business, and quite frankly, whatever else is going on in the world today. So before we get to today's episode, I'd love for you to do a couple things for me. Number one, make sure that if you're watching this on YouTube, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're doing the audio, make sure that you give us a review on whether it's Spotify or Apple, you know, we'd really appreciate that. And quite frankly, that does help. It does matter when you rate things and like things and subscribe to things, it helps us get the word out to more of the industry. And lastly, I have a very special gift for you. Go to MagellanNetwork.net, so one word, MagellanNetwork.net, and I have for you a complimentary membership, 100% gratis, where you can tap into about between 50 and 75 hours of master classes, forms, tools, templates, and strategies. So please go ahead and uh, make sure you go ahead and get that claim, smash the like button and subscribe, and uh, please go ahead and leave us a review on whatever podcasting platform you're on. And now, let's get to this week's episode. Hi, it's your coach, Joe Lucas, and welcome to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Uh, this episode, we're going to continue our How to Have a Breakthrough 2024 series. I just want to make sure all you guys have uh, all the information, all the strategies to really, really have a, a breakout year, uh, obviously, this new year. Two weeks ago, I we released basically a recording of a masterclass I did for our Magellan Network members on about 20 uh, different strategies, right, to use for 2024. Last week, we talked about how to do goal setting, right? Because a lot of advisors kind of, um, they just don't have a good approach to it. So if you missed that episode, go watch that. But this episode, what I want to talk to you about is really just kind of what I think 2024 is going to be about. And I'm going to, I'm going to label this year, a, a, I'll call it a separation year. And what I mean by a separation year is I think advisors who do certain things this year will separate them, they'll separate themselves from their colleagues slash competition. Now, why do I say that? Because I truly believe 2024 is going to be the year of distraction. Why? Because we are going to have a national election in the United States. And I am no crystal ball. I don't care what, how you roll, or who you vote for. That's got no bearing in this conversation. But here's what we do know. There is going to be a ton of noise out there. And you have to decide uh, in advance. So I'm really asking you to make that declaration here today as part of this conversation on either you're going to get swept up and sucked up into the distraction, uh, the vortex of the noise of the sound chamber, or you're going to get focused and stay focused on your mission to be successful. And it's binary. It's not like, well, we'll see what happens. Can't do it that way. The bottom line is your clients are going to need you to be, to be focused. They need to navigate the noise, and you have to be the one to help them navigate it when it comes to their money game. And you're not going to be able to do that if you're swept up in the same storm. For the next five years, right, next five years, 
there are three things that, you know, are just, they're absolutes. Number one, boomer retirements, right? We talked about that. I don't have final numbers back from uh, 2023, but I can tell you my, my, uh, my sense of the matter is that my clients had a record setting asset gathering year in 2023. And I fully expect us to break that record in 2024. Why? More boomers retiring. That's situation number one. Situation number two is there'll be more advisors retiring or planning to retire. So um, they're just not going to be super aggressive, super proactive out there in marketing, branding, and business development. They're just not. And then the third piece is, quite frankly, business owners are going to be retiring, selling their businesses, whether they sell their businesses to inside family members, ESOPs, or they sell to a third party in a scenario. There's going to be liquidity events. It happens. And there's two ways that I'm going to look at this. And I'm going to give you two different distinctions over two different periods of time to tell you why if you commit to being 100% focused on those things you can't control, you will be much better off come December 31st of this year. All right, now, I'm going to take you back. Some of you remember this, some of you do not, but that's okay. I'm going to take you back to the fall of 2008. We'll put us in a little time machine and take us back. I remember the fall of 2008 like it was yesterday because it was probably the most, it was probably one of the top two most intense coaching scenarios that I've ever worked through as a coach. Why? Because there was some real conversation about whether or not we would have a stock market come a Monday. Like what is going on? Remember, I mean, the rest of the world was great, but the financial markets were imploding. Firms were going out of business. Firms were being bought out. And I was interesting because I what I found and what I observed were there are two type of advisor approaches in that time. First approach, sucked up in the vortex of the noise. Bolted on to CNBC, uh, reading everything online, worrying about their firm stock price, like all this stuff not dealing with their clients as much, definitely not getting out there and trying to help people. Just how's this going to affect me? Look at my world, how it's crumbling. It's all about them, right? And so they were a victim, a victim in that time. The second type of advisor said, man, this sucks, but nothing I can do about it. It it is what it is. And let me go control the control, but which is what I'm going to do. And they went out there and talked to their clients they got a ton of referrals. Uh, they brought new clients in, and yeah, it didn't really it didn't really move the needle economically because the market was doing what it was doing. But I'll tell you what, they went to work. They brought in a lot of new households, a lot of new money. And then in uh, March of 2009, when things pivoted, they were rewarded for basically the next decade, right? For all that, it was a choice. Now, I, I'm not crystal balling anything here, right? Like, I don't anticipate that this year, other than the fact there'll be a lot of noise and a lot of distractions. Second situation was March of 2020. We all remember that, right? Hi, Coach Joe Lucas here, and I'm just breaking here for a moment just to do a couple quick reminders. Number one, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our podcast. In addition, please leave a a comment or a review. Those things really, really matter. And uh, share this episode with three of your colleagues inside the financial services space. And lastly, make sure that you go ahead and claim your free membership inside of Magellan Network. Now back to this week's episode. I'm going to share this with you. It's a true story. I'm not going to get into names because I don't want to embarrass anybody. But at the time, I was working for a client, uh, working with a client, a newer client, who uh, worked for a firm uh, that Goldman Sachs was in the, was buying. And I'm just, I'll am just i leave it at that. I remember in, Mar- in, in uh, March of 2020, he 911 texted me and said he has to speak to me immediately. It's so, okay. Like, I get it, right? So I get him on the phone. Hey, man, what's going on? He goes, hey, we got to start working together. I said, okay. Like, whatever you want to do, man, I get you, right? He goes, no, no, you don't understand. I said, we're going to be in a depression. 
There are going to be soup lines. This is going to be like the 1930s. It's okay. Like, like you don't I learn not to fight. I'm, I'm curious why you think that. But that has been a very important question. If that's what you're telling me, and that's what you believe, then what advice are you giving your clients today? And he didn't. He couldn't answer it. He said, "I don't know." I said, "Should they should they sell everything and go buy some seed and some uh, gold and uh, and head for the hills? Like, what should they do? Like, what what are you going to have them do?" What happened to that advisor? He got caught up in the noise. And look, I'm not diminishing a pandemic. I'm going to be very clear in this conversation. Okay, people died. We all probably know somebody who died. But that advisor, because they didn't make a conscious decision about how they're going to handle things in advance, that swept up. I think they're even out of the business today, if I'm accurate with that. So I don't expect, again, this to be that. And some of you guys said to say, well, Joe, I thought you're like this motivational coach. And I said, no, I'm not. look, I'm a strategist. I'm not going to sit there and say to you, it's not going to rain. Look, it's going to rain. Okay? Be prepared. I live in the state of Florida. You know what we do every May 1st? Hurricane preparation. Is that negative thinking? No, it's preparation. So just in case something happens, we have a game plan. Well, I'm saying here to all of you, have a game plan if things get a little spicy, dicey as we go through the year, especially in the fall. Start talking to your clients. This is the advice I'm giving my personal clients. Start talking to your clients now about possibilities. Hey, we don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? But let's talk about how we're going to respond to it. Like you got to pre-frame and that's, that's not negative preparation. It just is. This is not about crying wolf or yelling fire in a theater. It's preparation. And that's why this is going to be a year separation. Because those advisors who have a plan, who make a commitment to stay focused on those things they can control, who commit to helping others, are going to have such a competitive advantage over probably 80% of the industry. Because I believe everything is Pareto 80-20. And I think 80% of the industry is going to get sucked up, distracted, off their game. And if you're watching, listening to me, if you're part of our Magellan Network, we're the 20 percenters. We have chosen to be the 20% to focus on it. And I'm just saying to everybody who watches or listens to me, you know, look, you can disagree with this and that's fine. It's your, your prerogative to do so. But I'm telling you, Make decisions in advance of how you want to approach 2024. Because I believe there will be some choppy, rough waters. I think we'll have a storm. I just do. And you know what? If it doesn't happen, is that a bad thing you did prep for? No. So just because you declare to focus on other people, is that a bad thing? No. If you declare to be proactive in uh, letting clients know you're here as a resource for friends, family, cousins, co coworkers, no. Is it a bad thing that you're focused on what you can control and make a conscious decision not to get anything outside of it, oxygen, and focus on your game? No. No downside. But don't, you know, you have a choice. You know, I, I said this back in 2020. I came up with the term victor, victim or victor. You're going to have a choice this year. You can either claim victory and be the victor in 2024, or you can become a victim of 2024. Choice. I'm playing this game this year to win. I am mentally and emotionally preparing myself to ride the storm. I am preparing my clients to do exactly the same thing. And again, it's not negative thinking, it's preparation. Okay. One of the great powers all great entrepreneurs have is the power of anticipation. Uh, best way I can describe it is what uh, the great Wayne Gretzky 
I skate to where the puck is going, not to where it is. So just, it's early January here. A lot of year, obviously a lot of year in 2024, a lot of things are going to go down. Right? We just know we just know what or how specifically. Be prepared. Use this as an opportunity to separate yourself from average. Okay. If you want some more information, some more strategies and tools and templates and things like that, MagellanNetwork.net. That's my home on the internet, where uh, I've put together master classes and forms and templates and tools. Uh, gratis. So MagellanNetwork.net. Thank you for watching and listening to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Have a great week and I'll see you next Friday. Thank you for watching or listening to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Hey, if any of this resonated with you, I invite you to come to MagellanNetwork.net and we have a powerful group coaching community of like-minded advisors. Come in for a trial. You and I will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let's see if I can help elevate your game, both personally and professionally.